What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our first playthrough of Elden Ring. Last time, we just wrapped up the Yellow Annex Tunnel. We had a nice big fight with Estelle, who is some sort of insect. I don't know if it's like a dragonfly or what has like big pincers like that. But it was a pretty sweet fight. We are winding our way through this terrible terrain. Like, absolutely terrible. So hard to see. But we've been making pretty good progress. So we've done the Yellow Annex Tunnel. Now we've got Yellow Annex Ruins. Oh no. We've got Madness. These are some sort of giant. Or, not giant. Troll, I guess? I don't know why they're... Oh. I am definitely stuck. Okay, so it's a troll with madness. So I could probably end up in front of him there and get a bunch of free hits in on the head. That makes sense. Oh, we'll just try and take him down the lazy way. Just stay behind. Okay, so we've got another one over there. I'm not really expecting to get anything from these enemies. So we're at these ruins. We've got a walkway. Or not a walkway, but like the edge of the map seems to be pretty close to where we're at. And then I know that we encounter it, and I, I still don't know. The, uh... Oh, you're the big one. Oh, you've got a fast follow-up, huh? Okay. Ow. Oh, sword rolls. Get out of here, rat. I'm just gonna top off. Um, so what, we had fought some of the summoned giant skeletons. And I was under the impression that maybe there was going to be some sort of mariner nearby. But the problem with that theory thus far... Is that the Mariner would trigger the, um... Is it the Eye of Death? Or whatever that... Whatever that is. And the Eye has not been activated, so... I seem to be wrong about that in particular. I don't know how much I'm going to... Venture through that to find out. Golden rune. Seems like we're just gonna have to deal with a bunch of these guys. Okay, double stagger. I'd love to hit you in the face. Oh, that almost killed me. Uh-huh. Excellent. Trying so hard. Do a roll. I don't know, sometimes you can like... Oh boy, okay. Almost ended up in that. Oh, that was short. Clearly my timings are off on these. No! Nope. Can we not?
get out of here. Oh, we got an eye of yellow. That's awfully fitting. So I'm not, I mean, we're exploring some of these, but there was just like a rune here. Can you get into this little bit of ruin? All right, people. Don't need to throw rocks at me. Don't really appreciate that. Okay, just looking for a way into this. I'm also trying not to trigger this troll over here. Okay, so there's some way into this. I'm not sure if we've got to do some sort of climbing or if we can jump in. But this definitely seems to be where... Where you go in. No secret. How do we parkour to this? Because that's where the, the pathway down is at. Okay, so maybe we go up onto here. Do a little parkour adventure. Easy. Easy does it. Wow, so they don't even have us do... Undurable Frenzy. So that must be the big Frenzy attack that they were doing right there. But they don't even make us do like a boss fight for this ruin. Incantation originating from the Maddening Three Fingers causes the yellow flame of Frenzy to violently burst forth from the caster's eyes. Hold to continue channeling the flame. This incantation can be used while in motion. It is the maddening pain and unstoppable tears of those afflicted with the flame of Frenzy brought into being. So we've got a couple other frenzy things, but this seems to be the big one that at least the first troll used. And then you can just climb up and go out the window. It's pretty neat, very clever. I feel like this is one that you can very easily overlook that portion of the ruins. Because I would think that you probably come down here and think, okay, well, this is it. Because that one's like a closed off room. But meanwhile, when you come up here, there's not much of anything. Yeah, you've got the enemies. But it's just a giant, a pretty well abandoned, like, church. It seems like the ruins of some sort of... I... I'm gonna die. I'm not dead yet! I do not know how we didn't get killed there. Oh boy, okay. All that for a stone sword key. Well, we better find some places to spend stone sword keys at in the near future. Because I've got 13 of them. And that one was quite a hassle to acquire. All right, so we've managed to get to Interconsecrated Snowfield. We came up from down here. I don't know how much we've explored in this. Part of me wants to just keep exploring the edge, but the other part of me says, like, I really should get the map for this area. I think I'm going to keep exploring the edge a little bit, at least until maybe I find one more place that we can pit stop. You know, get a, uh, get another Lost Grace. Then we've got something that we can work back to, since we're all the way out here already. Got a body there. I don't know if this is going to lead around to another sort of tunnel. Oh, these are actual enemies. They're not... 
I thought they were like the dead bodies that lay there. With an item on top. Okay, so I was expecting just with the way this was structured to have some sort of entrance. Cave, catacomb, what have you, but I guess that would be too close to the tunnel. To just have things all sorts of stacked on top of each other here. But I'm definitely going to keep hugging the, the edge. Big bear. Maybe it's a special bear. Maybe we get something. Oh, that is very hard to see when the snow kicks up. How, how are you supposed to fight the bear in these conditions? Like, that's just, um, that's just cool. I mean, it's definitely one way to increase difficulty. Just make it so that you can't see. Is that another bear that just showed up? What did I just see? Why does it feel like I'm hearing something else here? Because I am. Oh, okay, that's what it is. It's one of those, like, slug things. Took, like, a little bit of damage from the bear. Oh, I rolled that late. Ow. It is impossible to see. Ow. No, do not kill me. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. Big bear slam. Reed. Come on, be worth something. You're over here all by your lonesome. Of course not. Yeah, well, I'm not fighting you. You take way too long to kill, and you never give me anything for it, so... You can definitely... Take that out of the equation. Okay, so this is where we just were. So now we're one level up. And obviously, I think we just continued to wind our way up. I don't know if... What is that rumbling sound? Makes me mildly concerned. I'm just on the edge of it all. Kind of peaceful, but also kind of eerie. You know? And like this drops down back behind. See some enemies down there. Oh, you know what? Those are... Aren't those the people we went... The Albanarx went to their village to, like, guide them here? I'm pretty certain. Invaded by a sanguine noble. Okay. Where are they at, though? Were they up higher? I don't like this. Those are the birds. Where's the Sanguine Noble? We got a teleporter here? Or not even that. I want to put a... No. I want to put a marker here. There you are. I don't know who you are or what you want. I'm definitely gonna... Okay, they got bleed. 
I'm definitely gonna try and mess you up. Dude, stay out of this. This isn't your fight. Ooh, sanguine, noble, everything unlocks this teleporter. Nice. I kind of have to deal with this guy so that I can mark it on my map. So I know for future reference that this is here. I don't, I never have understood why these guys are so resistant to damage. It might just be the type of damage that I'm always trying to use on them, but they're always so resistant. Okay, so that's a teleporter. Ah, I want to look, but at the same time, I don't. Oh man. Temptations. Temptations. There's an item up top there. We have it marked. We'll come back. We'll come back. We know where it is. I'm not gonna- I don't think I'm gonna go too long without checking it out. Got another bear, which I am- this one I'm going to ignore, because the last one didn't give me anything, so why would this? I'm not gonna go stealthily, because they always seem to hear me regardless of how quiet I try and be. Sounds like he's still going to town on that tree. Which is good. Hello, bird. Alright, big hero's rune. That's a pile of rocks, it looks like. Okay. I'm gonna go due east. We're gonna head back and get the map. It looks like there's a bit of rot kind of going on in this general vicinity, just given these dogs. And probably as indicated by like the red petals on the ground. Seems like I'm running into something. Or maybe it's just the dogs are triggering that. Oh, crap. It forced me off my horse. Am I in a boss fight now? Oh no, it's another invader. And there's a ball running around. Got enemies back there. So what, this... This place just has a bunch of invaders then? Okay, cool, I guess I won't backstab you. I guess I won't hit you. All right, Anastasia, or is it Anastasia? Why is my weapon so slow? And what the heck hit me there? That's a weird window for me to be able to hit you, but we'll take it. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Sweet. Pack of wolves. We've got this thing running around. Seemingly, the wolves are are running with it. We're gonna lose our guidance from the wolves, and that's okay. Imagine if you had to keep the wolves alive, though, for this to work. Uh, like, what does it do back here? Like, had like a quick stopping point to it. It would be really annoying is if you had to hit these things multiple times. In order to kill them. White Shadows Lure? 
I don't even know where that would be in here. Ash of War grants an armament, the occult affinity, and the following skill. White Shadow's lore, hold armament in a brief silent prayer to create a white shadow. The apparition lures in foes of human build who are not in combat, drawing their aggression. Effective on demi-humans even, even if they are already in the combat state. Okay, so it's like, it's a, see, it doesn't draw them if they're in combat. Also, that's a building. So we're definitely starting to find things. Out in the, uh, in the unknown. Consecrated Snowfield. Is that the last map? I think it might be. It's got to be the last map, unless there's something. There's probably some places that we missed underneath here. Okay, so we've got a river that runs, which makes sense as that comes down from here. That's what that is up in the distance. This must be the Hallig tree. Which I wonder if this teleporter is what takes you there. Now we've at least got a little bit better of an understanding of what's going on out here. We've explored those things. We haven't made it up to this guy yet. So that's due east by the river. As well as this tree. Sweet. Alright, well we're gonna go. I'm gonna stick to the plan. We're gonna head back out to the teleporter and see where that takes us. If anything, just to potentially find like a lost grace that we can checkpoint for later. We might not fully endeavor into it because obviously I want to make sure that we're fully exploring everything that this super fun land has to offer. It is just so hard to see anything. All the snow. Got the added fun of all the rot. It's just a lovely place. Those must be the dogs that I'm hearing chasing me here. All right, so back down and around see where this thing goes these teleporters like really throw a whole wrench in the entirety of the gaming exploration because it's like you could just go from one point to somewhere completely different oh cool so we're underground as i was saying so maybe maybe there's more, uh, more map to find. Just suddenly underground. Back on the other side from... Oh, what was this place called? Necron? And all that stuff that we found. Mogwin Palace. Now... We've already encountered Moog in the sewers. So I don't know if Mogwin is... I don't know if Mogwin is like a variant of Moog. I'm sure we'll find out. So there's a Grace. See, now this is the type of place that I will probably explore in its own right because it's not in the Consecrated Snowfield. So if it wasn't in the Consecrated... If it was in the Consecrated Snowfield, I would most likely save it. And come back later. But because this has taken us to a completely 
different area. We're definitely gonna check this out now. Alright, so we've got a bunch of these Albanarics. I don't quite know, because we went to their place and we talked to them, and they, they're what gave us access to the Consecrated Snowfield. But are they going to start attacking us? Okay. Seems like most of them are fine. Maybe not. They're all like, not frenzied, but... Because it's not bleed or madness either, but they, they transform with these spikes. Maybe it's just... Is it like if they get rolled over by one of the red ones, it infects the, the next one? Albanaric blood clot. Okay, so that actually might give us some information. Where is that, though? So those are usable items. See, I don't know what that blood clot is classified as. Because it doesn't seem like anything that I'm looking at directly in here. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's a crafting material. Oh, we've gotten these before. So it's just from Albinarix. Thick coagulated blood of the Albinarix. Life forms made by human hands. Thus many believe them to live impure lives untouched by the Erd Tree's grace. Interesting. So Albinarix are made by humans? I guess that begs the question then of why and for what purpose? Like, what did the Albinarix serve to the human? Were they servants? I don't think I've seen any in that capacity. I mean, if you're just gonna do the cartwheels all around and that's about it, then fine. I feel like the spikes and stuff, it's all red, and red would lead me to believe rot. Or not, is it blood? Is this all blood? Because we're not getting any sort of rot buildup. I hear a ball. Is it on the side somewhere? Up above? I'm not seeing it. There you are. I'm stuck! Ash of War Blood Tax. Yeah, so I wonder if this is like, if the spikes are related to that blood tax? Hopefully I'm in a safe spot at the moment. Blood tax. Blood affinity, which makes sense, and then blood oath skill granted by the Lord of Blood. Twist to build power, then unleash a flurry of thrusts that rob the target of their blood and their HP. Okay, so the blood tax is not in regards to that spikiness. So maybe we're going to finally find the Lord of Blood then. Maybe that's Mogwin. Because I don't believe that the Lord of Blood has ever been mentioned by their true name. They've just been called Lord of Blood. So I don't know if it's kind of like a... How'd you say it? Like a Voldemort situation, right? In that he's known as like the Dark Lord. They don't really say his name. 
so I don't know if if that's a similar story for Mogwin. Swarm of flies. Ooh. That sounds like uh oh I forget what what it was called exactly in Dark Souls 3. But I remember Dark Souls 3 having a spell that you could cast and it would inflict bleed build up. That's still caught. Ah, he's trying to get the backstab. These guys aren't dealing for particularly high amounts of damage, but you know what? They're definitely the type that would build up on you pretty quickly. Much, much, much like that. I'm not sure that I want to fight a whole horde of them. Can I get on my horse? I can get on my horse. All right. I'm just gonna book it past. I'd like to get my my runes back as well, but I don't know if I'm really wanting to kill my way through this whole area, because I think if we are faster, and we can just do that, like hit them to kind of cancel. Rustering blood grease. Oh. Got quite a few. Oh, I'm trying to get the. Here is rune. Ah! Trying so hard to to like keep track of where we've, where we've gone, what's considered safe. There's blood bubbling up. Am I gonna get invaded? Or is this like a boss thing? Why did it kick me off my horse? Man, we're getting a lot of invasions. Okay, I think that's the blood thing that we just got. Got the repeated stabs. I'm waiting for him to try and heal. Oh, cheeky back step. Come here. There it is. Easy kill. Easy, easy, easy kill. Not really looking forward to that bird. I don't know if we have to or not. I can't say that I really want to. Are you a boss? Or are you just a regular enemy? I guess you're just a regular enemy. What? I staggered you. How are you? I need to heal. Ow! Freaking bird! Stop it! Trying so hard to heal. Can you not? Oh, the blood fountain is so close. I rolled early. Might be okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna die. This is so stupid. I 
I like can't finish it off. Goodbye. Oh man. The number of whiffs and then the number of failed heals. Oh, that was bad. That was really, really bad. Okay, we've got dogs. More dogs. Oh no, not more birds. Another nameless white mask? Golden seed that I can't use. Come on, where are you? Show yourself, invader. I swear, if I end up having to fight this invader and... Oh, there you are. And the bird, I was gonna be real sad. Oh, there's the swarm of flies! Oh, we're doing the blood thing. Oh, freaking bird! No, 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 I can't go on my horse because the invader. I hate everything. I hate it so much. We're just running. I'm gonna let the bird do the do the dirty work. Gotta pace myself. Grab it and get away from the edge. Okay, cool. New cookbook. Take that, invader. I've got a bird. Who's not really all that friendly to me, but... Sometimes helpful. Okay. Come on, come on. He's not dead, there it is. Bloody finger vanquished. Getting on my horse and getting the heck out of here. Oy vey. Alright, that was... Painful, are you kidding me? I'm not enjoying this. Halleck Drake Talisman plus two, whoop whoop. Okay, heal. Is this something? No. Oh, I'm trying so hard to get away from these birds. Of course there are more of them, I need to know what you are. Holy Grease! It's not worth it, not worth it, not worth it, not worth it. Hey, I hope I'm going somewhere new. It is somewhere new. It's also a dead end. Oh, oh dogs. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not kill my horse. You kill my horse. It's a pretty empty threat. I will just have a very bad time. Okay, that was... Fun. It was definitely exhilarating. I'll give it that much. Uh, if you hurt my horse, I'd be so sad. Oh, great. More of these guys. Oh, is it because of the Albinaric? That might be it. Maybe that's a thing. Instead of the Mariner, the Albinarics can, like, summon them. Runark, Cool Beans. This is to test the theory. Oh, we've got multiple of these guys. I'm gonna heal. Okay, so yeah, it is. So maybe that's what it is out in the uh, in the consecrated snowfield. Maybe it's an Albinaric that's summoning him. And that would explain, then, why the Mariner is not a thing. Okay. That's really, really good to know. 
one less thing for me to look for. So does it disappear when you make contact with the Albanaric? Because that one's gone before we killed it. Either way, I think that that's what the tie is. Because it's like when they blow the horn. It seems like they show up. Okay, I think that's all that's over here. I'm looking for any sort of grace. Which maybe we will find that over here? Anything off to the side before we go into that? Nope, that's just an odd looking kind of inlet. Definitely some eerie music playing around here. Makes you feel like there's something ready to happen. Nothing off to the side. Are we going up and in? Is that the only option here? All right, here we go. I don't know what's up here, but we've gone a long way without Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. Map, Mogwin Palace. Okay, so this is where we started. We came down here. And then I'm pretty sure we definitely checked out this whole area. And then we came up and around to this. I haven't seen any Lost Graces up until this point. So naturally there is one here at the foot of it all. That would... That would make a lot of sense, huh? I think we squeeze decks up to 50 and then probably circle back to Vigor. Try and have our damage as high as we can here and then give ourselves a little bit more breathing room with health. All right, so Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. We're going to find out what's going on with that because I have I've heard of Moog, but I have not heard of Mogwin. And I can't imagine that they're not related. Sweet. That is, uh... I'd say that's a pretty good day in the office. Found ourselves a nice little teleportation point, another map. So we've got our work cut out for us next time. I'm very excited to check out Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum with you guys. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you all for watching.